All right. Uh, well, <laughs> so uh, so I'm having a good presentation here about uh, Illustrator for uh, scientists. Um, I'm uh, a master student at uh, McGill, and uh, I am with uh, Dr. Theo Zanos, a, uh, a postdoc in our lab. Say hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, using uh, Illustrator, um, you know, to make posters and to make like nice figures and things like that. Um, and Theo's going to ask uh, questions as a uh, novice, I guess, in uh, Illustrator. Uh, so hopefully it'll be useful for everyone. Uh, presentation's going to last about, I don't know, an hour, an hour and a half, which I'm going to split into uh, subparts. Uh, and it's going to cover like the, the very basics as well as more advanced stuff that's going to be useful for uh, for scientists. So uh, importing stuff from like scientific software. Um, then it's going to be like placing stuff, which is a lot of what you do when you do a poster. Uh, you know, aligning and then resizing things to make them look nice. And we're also going to talk about a little bit about creating uh, new shapes and so forth. Uh, and at the end, we'll talk about exporting. Uh, so uh, Illustrator is kind of a is a really really old piece of software. Uh, it's I think the first version was in 1986. <laughs> so uh, it's almost as old as uh, as the two of us. I, I should we were maybe like I don't know five years old. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's uh, so, so it's like crazy uh, badly organized. It's kind of it, it, it is really bad, uh, but it's really useful for for making posters and stuff. Um, so that uh, so, so it's going to cover usage of Illustrator for these reasons. Uh, so the first thing you want to know uh, once you open up Illustrator is uh, well, first of all, you need you usually need stuff to start with. Uh, and that's going to be um, either uh, bitmaps uh, or uh, vector files, uh, and you're going to get those usually out of your scientific software uh, like MATLAB. Or R or whatever. So there's uh, two types of formats that you're dealing with. There's uh, bitmaps. That's like JPEG, uh, TIFF, uh, GIF, uh, PNG. Uh, all these formats uh, are basically the pixels, right? So uh, so they're just pixel formats. So they're not really well adapted to Illustrator. But the, the most important ones are going to be uh, vector. Uh, formats and that's going to be your uh, encapsulated postscript EPS. Um, going to be uh, scalable ve vector graphics SVG. Uh, going to have Windows meta files, uh, WMF, uh, enhanced meta files, EMF, and uh, also PDF, uh, portable document format, that you can import into Illustrator. Um, so one thing you want to be careful about is uh, this. This might not sound uh, clear is uh, that you want to import things which are in the CMYK format when you use Illustrator. So if you have uh, an option in your software to export a CMYK, do do that uh, instead of in RGB. So CMYK is basically for print. That's uh, so so it means uh, cyan, uh, cyan, yellow, magenta, and uh, K, which is ink. Uh, so that's like a, it's like an overcomplete basis to uh, <laughs> to talk about uh, stuff that you print. Anyway, it's 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 a little complicated, but it'll look all wrong if you uh, import things as RGB. Usually, uh, it won't keep the colors nice when you once you print. Uh, so do keep that in mind. So we're going to start by um, uh, showing how to export some figures in MATLAB. Um, so I got my MATLAB open, and I've got. Uh, a couple of plots ready. Oh, just gonna close that. Right on. Uh, so uh, let's plot a scatter plot. Right. So it's an awesome plot. And uh, so we have a. So if you want to export that thing, uh, you can uh, uh, save as. And. Uh, usually you'll be able to use, uh, say, EPS here. So that's one option, but that's not the option I recommend. So what you want to do is uh, use one of these files that you'll find on MATLAB Central uh, that are going to help you uh, export figures. Uh, so the one I'm using here is export fig. 
Uh, so it works really well. It's, it's well adapted to export into EPS. Um, so uh, it has some options. So for example, so you can set the format that you're going to export to. Uh, this is the width and inches of the output. Uh, and then you can preview the figure. So for example, uh, like so, you can preview the figure. Great. Now, what you can do as well is uh, scale the fonts, let's say, before you export. And that's actually uh, really important sometimes. Um, well, that didn't really seem to work. Oh, I know why. Right. Let's try that again. Ah, there you go. So now you have uh, big fonts. So do most of your editing inside of MATLAB. It's, it's super important. Otherwise, you're just going to waste time uh, in uh, Illustrator, like trying to resize everything. It's just going to be a pain in the ass. So, uh, so once you, you can just type export fig. Uh, and it will export the figure with uh, the option that you've set up. Um, so if you try to open that in Illustrator, uh, it gives us this file. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, the, the font is kind of big, uh, which is normal because we've set it up that way. Now, uh, one thing I, I do want to advise is Oops. Is uh, try and um, set as many options as you can uh, with the uh, with the get and sets. Uh, so to get all the properties of the current axes in uh, in MATLAB, you use get GCA, and it'll tell you all these things over here: Y tick, label mode, and Z grid, and things like that, which you can all set manually. So for example, here I'm going to uh, reset the ticks. Um, so it'll look something like this, right? So I'm resetting the text. And then once I export it, uh, and I open this in Illustrator, 